Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended D&H. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs. All without the lines. Trust and service. That's our D&H. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Thursday, December the 27th. We've got two topics today. The uh, Columbia Values Diversity Celebration, which is coming up next year. And next year is just around the corner. Plus, Margaret Tollerton is with us, Missouri Cures. And uh, good to have you here, Margaret. Thank you, Paul. You're talking about World Stem Cell Report 2012. I am. We just came back from this World Stem Cell Summit for 2012, and they put out this pretty lengthy report as far as the latest research, the latest clinical trials, um, and so I wanted to make sure that your audience knew that they could come to our website mm -hmm. to click on to get the information from this booklet. They so have it are, online. Are you telling me that uh, all, of the, all of the advancements that have been made during 2012 are now available at one place online. All is a term that I don't know that I could actually say all, but um, as far as those um, companies and institutions and universities and that are involved with the regenerative medicine mm -hmm. across the world. Like at this summit, there were 40 countries and there were 177 speakers, I think. And it was basically a week long. Um, and as a result then, they publish this report. Mm -hmm. And the report involves the latest um, therapies for um, central nervous system disorders and diabetes and neurogenerative diseases and eye, mm -hmm. and those seem to be some of the top research topics. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and then they um, also have a whole um, section in this report as far as clinical trials and the status of those. Usually on our website, which is www.missouricures.org, we do keep a daily, you know, when news happens, when we find out about it, then we post it on our website. Mm -hmm. um, well, this is like a whole summary yeah. from last year to this year to bring everybody up to date. Now, you, you, you mentioned clinical trials. Can people sign up yes. to be a part of clinical trials? Yes. In fact, I sat in on, how did you know this, Paul? I sat in on a whole section involving clinical trials and found that one of the drawbacks that they are actually experiencing is getting the word out for people to actually sign up to participate. So if somebody is interested in, in signing up for a clinical trial, they can simply go to the website and find out about it? Well, hopefully they're um, their best bet right now, beyond a shadow of a doubt, is clinicaltrials.gov. Okay. That's the government funded. That's, um, there's also clinicaltrials.org. Um, hopefully, now that I have this, I hope to include clinical trials like a section okay. on our website. But okay. for, for right now, clinicaltrials.gov is where to go. And there'll be a whole list of them. Oh, there's lots of them. Okay, all right. And if people want more information about your uh, website, what is your address again? www.missouricures.org. Okay, all right. Margaret Tollerton, Missouri Cures, thank you so much for thank coming you, by. Paul. And I hope you had a, a, a nice Christmas, and I wish you the very best for a healthy, happy, prosperous 2013. Thank you, and ditto to you. Yeah. Doesn't it seem strange to say 2013 now? I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. It seems like we just we just got into 2012, 12, right. and 2012 yeah. is over. Almost. Yeah. Now we've got, uh, thank you, Margaret, and Happy New Year to you. Now I want to uh, turn to Nagar Rizvani. Yes. Did I pronounce it right, Nagar? Yes. Okay. It's been a year since you've been it with us. It has been. It has uh, been. And you're here to tell us about the 2013 Columbia Values Diversity Celebration. Yes. It used to be called the Diversity Breakfast, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Now we've moved it to a Diversity Celebration. Yeah. So we think it's a more. Because it's, it's gotten bigger. Right. About um, 1,100 people come every year. So we're yeah. really excited. And this year it's our 20th anniversary. Yeah. So um, we've been around 20 years, which is incredible. 
explain what what goes on during the celebration um, usually of course there's the a breakfast and we have um, a musical performance while we're eating the breakfast mm -hmm. and um, this year we have a keynote speaker dr. Mar uh, Martin Luther King the third which we're very excited you and about. Martin Luther King the third yes okay. yes and then um, dr. Clyde Ruffin will be doing an artistic performance he's from uh, Second Baptist Church and he'll mm -hmm. be doing about a 20-minute artistic performance and we're also of course giving out the diversity awards, the 16th annual diversity awards. We have mm -hmm. the individual award and the group award. Um, so we're really excited. We have it jam packed, and yeah. we're quite excited to this have really, there. it. This really is a very important event for the city, not just for the city, but for all of Central Missouri. It's a very important event. It is, and it and it gets a nice, diverse group of people together to celebrate something so important like mm -hmm. diversity in our community. We, we are so lucky to live in a place like Columbia and you know have such a diverse community and it's important to um, celebrate the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr. and diversity in our community mm -hmm. and really appreciate it. So I think sometimes we take that for granted. We take it for granted that what we have in the Columbia area uh, a lot of folks do not, and a large part of that is because of the university and people that come from all over the world exactly. to Columbia to study, and they're bringing with them their cultures, their beliefs, their understanding, and then we all kind of mesh like a big quilt. That's true, and as part of that, um, the breakfast performance is actually a young man from Brazil and he's going to be playing the Spanish guitar and some other selections so we're mm -hmm. really excited. Can people still sign up to come to the breakfast? Yes, they have up till January 11th so okay. it's coming up to buy the tickets. They're $14 a piece. That's um, all? That's it. Okay. All that for fourteen dollars. Yeah, my good. For fourteen dollars, you get all that entertainment. You get breakfast, and you get to mingle with people from all over the world too. Right, and um, there's also scholarships available. They can call us at eight seven four seven four eight eight, and we'll be happy to talk to them. Or go to the city website at gocolumbiamo.com. Okay. And uh, search diversity celebration, and we'll be happy to help. What is the best kept secret about this that you want? everybody to know. I don't want it to be a secret. I want everybody to come. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I hope you have, I hope you have a, uh, a, a standing room only crowd. I'm looking forward to that. Okay. So it will be, again, the date and time. January 17th, 2013. Okay. Starts at what seven, time? 7 a.m. Until? Till about 9. Okay. All right. Nagar, and, and, and uh, website to go to again is? GoColumbiaMO.com. Search it. Diversity Celebration. Okay. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, first night, Columbia. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Elizabeth Hyden, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. If there's something you would like to see or hear, drop me an email, pepperp.missouri.edu. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.